What's up YouTube? My name is Clickwood and I am back again today bringing you guys another Madden 25 Ultimate Team video and today you're going to be watching me play against another YouTuber known as JC3 and I will leave a link to his YouTube in the description below and you'll also see an a, uh, annotation pop up here on the screen. Bling! And you guys can actually go to his YouTube channel and watch him as well because he's actually a pretty good YouTuber. I think you guys will like his content. I made his banner, so you guys might like that as well. But that's not what we're going to be talking about today. Actually, we're not even going to be talking about Madden 25. We're going to be talking about Madden 15. And specifically, we're going to be talking about ways that this game can actually be made competitive. Now, when I say competitive, I don't mean playing head-to-head -head and like, you know, it's really a close game competitive. What I'm talking about is professional gamers. Now, for those of you who have been playing a lot of Madden over the years, you probably know that Madden has tried to make this game competitive. Now, they've done an okay job because there's definitely some interest in competitive Madden. Uh, they had the Madden Nation show. I, I think that still happens. I'm not for certain on that, to be honest with you. But, um, you know, that was somewhat popular, at least. That helped grow the Madden scene a little bit. But I'm going to be talking about why I think that we can actually make Madden Ultimate Team competitive. Now, right now, in Austin, Texas, there's actually the X Games happening. And if you're unaware, something pretty unique is happening this year at the X Games, and that is that Call of Duty is actually a game that is being played at the X Games this year. Yeah, there's 4v4 competitive Call of Duty that's being played. Yes, they're actually going to give away gold medals at the X Games to a Call of Duty team. And of course, this is huge for the Call of Duty community because there's actually an opportunity for these guys to be on ESPN. And that doesn't just mean that they're going to be famous for a day or something. This is the possibility of something really breaking out into the mainstream. So for the Call of Duty community, playing competitively has been able to make them potentially have a full-time income playing video games. And a lot of these guys, this is their full-time income. Now granted, they're younger, so most of them aren't requiring quite as much money as those of us who own homes and things like that. But, you know, some of them have made $100,000, $200,000 or more in certain players' cases over the past year just playing Call of Duty. I'm not expecting that kind of community to grow from Madden. However, I don't see any reason why we can't go ahead and at least make the game somewhat competitive. So here's some things that I want to see Madden do with Madden 15 to make it a more competitive, friendly game. So number one, I think the first and foremost thing that they need to do is allow for LAN. Now, if you guys watched the Mutt Invitational Tournament, you know that they actually had some connection problems on their live stream. Uh, teams just couldn't connect to one another, they were losing connection mid-game, and I think a lot of that had to do with the fact that it was being played on the EA servers. Now, if you actually play in a LAN environment, you don't have things like lag, and you don't have things like potential disconnects and stuff like that happening, and it just makes for a better all-around game. So that's the first thing that I want to see them do. Add LAN capabilities. So if I'm in the same room as you, we shouldn't have to play online. We should just be able to connect our PlayStations or our Xboxes together and just be able to play head-to-head -head that way. Now, number two, I want to see some in-game tournaments. I want to see it be able to be where I get online and I want to join with like seven of my friends. We all put up 5,000 coins and the winner of the tournament actually gets the full pot or a good portion of it. I don't know how you'd break it down. Maybe 50% to first place, 30% um, to second place, and 20% to third place. Something like that. Uh, just to make it so that, you know, there's actually some sort of competitive possibilities. You can play a full tournament on there. The other thing that I want to see them do to make it a little bit better, I want to see some spectator mode. And if you're familiar with Call of Duty, there's actually a thing called spectator mode. Now, in Call of Duty, it makes more sense because you want to be able to bounce around from player to player and things like that. And there's not really a player lock on Madden, at least not in Ultimate Team anyway. So what I want to be able to see is them be able to switch from screen to screen. They need to make it so that if there was hypothetically a commentary team or something watching over this, that they could easily switch from my screen to Chase's screen by just pressing one button. 
and that way you'd be able to actually see the stream live and not have to wait and things like that for them to switch actually physically on their computer. Now, if there is going to be competitive play, I think that we might eventually see some things get outlawed and some things get uh, changed a little bit. So, you know, obviously if you've played Madden tournaments in person, there are some plays sometimes, depending on the tournament that you go to, that are actually banned. At one point, I remember hearing that the QB rap was actually a banned play just because of how ridiculously overpowered it was. So, they would have to figure out ways to prevent things like duplicate cards, I think, in some of these cases. Because can you imagine if somebody was running, like, six Donald Penn tight end golden ticket cards or something like that? How damn near impossible it would be to stop their running game you know stuff like that we'd have to think about um but you know that doesn't necessarily have to be done but i do think that there it would be nice for there to be uh a switch or something that you can put that says uh duplicate cards on or off if you're inviting someone into a land game at least the last thing that i think would be a fun possibility and actually london rtr touched a little bit on this and you can watch his video i think it would be a lot of fun if there was actually team-ups in Madden Ultimate Team. And that would allow for an actual team environment. So like 3v3 or something like that, and we each get to pick one person's team to play with, let's say. So if it's London and Ryan and I versus Chase and ScoMo and uh, E-Rock, let's say, we each get to pick one of our players' rosters to play that game with. And then we do, you know, just like team-up as it currently is. So I think that that would be a lot of fun and it could eventually add, you know, some actual team play to Madden. That could be some interesting gameplay. I think it'd be a lot of fun to watch and I definitely think that it would make the competitive environment a lot better as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. That interception there actually did pretty much seal things up for me. So I was able to walk away with a win in this one. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you leave a like. Don't forget to leave a comment as well. Let me know what you guys think about Madden Ultimate Team Competitive. I'm interested to hear what you guys have to say. Thank you again for watching, and I will talk to you beautiful bitches again soon.